Hey, Ken Silvestri, and welcome to Broadway Limited's Extravaganza. Uh, we have a lot to show you, so we're going to get started, but we're going to change the format a little bit. Uh, instead of me standing here showing you a locomotive that you really can't see, it makes me, makes me feel like Godzilla holding the train with two fingers. What we're going to do is we're going to show you a big picture of the locomotive. And I want you to look at the quality and the detail. Okay, the first extravaganza is the New York Central 40-foot steel boxcar. From the 1920s through the late 1950s, these popular cars could be found everywhere. Variations in design over the decades were relatively few. In this production, you'll find rectangular paneled roofs, A-B brakes, ARA U-section trucks, steel grid running boards along the top of the car, two variations of doors, corrugated and non-corrugated, two variations of end caps, corrugated ends and dreadnought ends. End extravaganza number two, another rolling stock, an ARA 70 ton quad hopper, and these come in four packs. 12,000 were built between 1926 to 1930, and these saw service through the 1950s. Quiz time, multiple choice. In a real 70 ton hopper, 12 inches to the foot, how many Ken Silvestri's could this hopper haul? A, 5,600. B, 560. Three, one. Answer after we show you the road names. And these are at your dealers right now. The answer was 560 Ken's. And for all of you that said one, I'll get you. And extravaganza number three, Paragon 4, Rolling Thunder, added capacitance, GE ES44 AC and N. These were started to be built in 2002 through 2019, and GE produced 3,700 units. These locomotives are 4,400 horsepower. And today they can be found on every Class 1 railroad in America. The ES44 AC models have the following independently controllable lights. Headlight, the rear light, cab light, front number boards, and ditch lights. Okay, these also feature all-wheel electrical pickup, ABS body with die-cast chassis, 
Many separate applied details such as handrails, grab rails, horns, bells, and cab roof antenna. Two operating couplers, minimum operating radius nine inches. The ES44s are at your dealers right now. N Stravaganza number four. The Paragon 4 Rolling Thunder added onboard capacitance Norfolk and Western Y6B. The 5500 horsepower Y6B is one of a handful of locomotives that were the epitome of steam locomotives. Epitome is de defined as the perfect example of a particular type. We can talk of honed engineering designs, roller bearings, etc. But the defining statement to me that is in 1959, when Norfolk and Western ceased mainline steam operations, 50 of the Y6Bs were still in service. Extraordinary. The Y6Bs come in five different numbers. Uh, in the standard in-service paint scheme, we have painted unlettered, and balloon and maroon fantasy schemes. This locomotive features die-cast locomotive body with die-cast chassis for heavier weight and maximum traction. It ain't plastic. Prototypical light operation with separately controlled headlight, rear light, and cab light. Many separately applied details, such as handrails, ladders, piping, whistle, and bell. Operating couplers, Minimum operating radius is 9.75 inches. Paragon 4 sound and control system features. Operates in DC and DCC. Built-in capacitor pack. Capacitor packed automatically disabled on program track for full compatibility with JMRI Decoder Pro. Pro lighting mode. Record and play operation. High resolution audio, quillable whistle, three selectable horns, multiple realistic passenger and crew sounds play on command, grade crossing automatic signal, automatic forward reverse signal, chuff sound intensifies with load, and these will be at your dealers mid February. And Stravaganza number five. It's the Paragon 4 UP Big Boy in N. I don't have to tell any of you guys about a big boy. So let's just take a gander. That big boy with the smoke is sweet. I think all the N scale, we, we're not only very proud of, but 
I think they're just sweet locomotives and sweet rolling stock. Uh, all are available now except the Y6B, which will be here in the middle of February. <laughs>